Hello, I'm Javis Lewis and today I'm going to show you how to use my child theme wizard. Child theme wizard is a WordPress plugin I have written that allows you to create a child theme from any theme that is currently installed and it allows you to customize all the finickety values that you usually have to get your FTP client out for and create files and upload them and it's all very very complex, much more complex than it really needs to be. And child theme wizard makes that a breeze. Child themes are a great way to start with a theme, make some modifications and contain those modifications in a set of files that is only accessible to you and cannot be overwritten if the parent theme receives an update. Child themes have been widely discussed on the WordPress forums and it's their hot topic. Child themes are great, but WordPress doesn't make it exactly easy to get started with one. All the other elements in the admin interface seem to do an amazing job, but child themes are kind of left behind and it's a bit of a shame. So I decided to write a plugin that alleviates that problem. Introducing the child theme wizard. This little plugin is installed under once it is installed, it's under Tools, Child Theme Wizard. So you install it the usual way, Plugins, Add New, and you just search for Child Theme Wizard. Or if you have the zip file from the GitHub repository, you just go and upload the zip file right here. Well, once it's installed, it's under Tools, Child Theme Wizard, and it really couldn't be easier to get started. You pick a parent theme. In my case, I've got the 2013 vanilla theme right here. So I'm going to pick that from the list, 2013. I can give it a title and I can add a description here. If the theme has a URL, I can add that here as well. Author and author URL, well, that's me and my website. They're pre-populated from my WordPress profile from the, from the website that I'm currently running this from, but they're overridable as well. And the version starts at 1.0, but you know, put in anything you like. I'm also giving you the option to add the GPL license. WordPress and PHP and MySQL, they're based on free software licenses. WordPress in particular is based on the GPL version 2 or later license. And if you're thinking of redistributing your child theme to be used with WordPress, then I strongly recommend you just use that license. You don't have to, it's up to you. It's just an option to get you started quickly. I've also, if you want to know more about child themes, by the way, there's uh, the top here, there's a little link which goes straight to the WordPress codex. So if you open that, you find out all about child themes, why you should use them, how to create them, the full Monty. So once you've filled all that data out, you hit create child theme. And what this does is it creates a directory on your server. It puts a file called style.css in there. It imports in that file your parent style sheet. It also pre-populates all the metadata that you've put in so that WordPress can recognize this as a child theme. If you're using custom functions in your theme, then there's also an empty functions.php file. And those things are traditionally a little bit difficult to get onto your server. So usually you'd have to have an external client, you create the files, then you have to have an FTP client, and you have to find the correct directory, and then you have to FTP things over. For the FTP client, you have to have your FTP credentials, and it's all a little bit messy for something that could just be done with one click. So once installed, you can head over to Appearance Themes, or just go over to the menu here, Appearance Themes. Either one will work fine. And in it, you will find your new child theme. So 2213, and you can activate that right away. Right now, nothing has really happened because it's just a blank file that pulls in 2013 and waits for you to override any of the elements. So under Appearance Editor, you will now find your theme. So 2213, Style Sheet. And this is what the plugin has created for you. All this metadata. The template is important. This is 2013. And sometimes it's difficult to figure out what is the actual name of that theme, what's the folder of that theme. Same here with the import line. This imports the style sheet. So don't change any of that. Start making your changes underneath the dotted line. So how do we get started? Let's have a look here. If I wanted to get rid of the date, for example. You need to find out what the CSS class is and change it or suppress it in any way. In my case, I'm, I'm going to suppress it now as a demonstration. Uh, but finding out the CSS class can be sometimes a little bit puzzling. 
tools like Safari or Google Chrome or Firefox, they all have developer tools of some kind. Either of them will give you something like a contextual menu. In Safari's case on the Mac, it's called Inspect Element. So you just right click on it, click Inspect Element, and then you see a portion of the source code. In fact, the entire source code here. And if you hover over the source code, it'll show you where in the actual code that is. And it also works the other way around. You can click on something like an inspect button and then hover over elements in the website and it will show you what the CSS class is. So in my case, it's this entire thing here. If something like the permalink thing hides it, don't worry about it, just click on it and then you will see this entire portion in the code. So we can see that this is the link and the class that encapsulates that link is called date. The entire thing is called entry meta, so that would take the entire line away. I just want to take the date away, so I'm just going to go for date. Remember that. And start hacking. So dot date is the class that I'm targeting. Open in curly brace. Display none. Closing curly brace. Obviously you'll need to know CSS for this to make any sense. Go back and refresh. Date gone. I like it. Let's take the category away as well, shall we? Do that again. Inspect element. Inspect and click on it. Categories links. No problem. Let's do that as well. That should take care of that. Let's see if we're successful. Categories gone as well. Awesome stuff. That is how you do that. I hope this was useful and I hope you can find child theme wizard a worthy tool to quickly create child themes and quickly overwrite any of the CSS elements. There are other ways to do that of course, but if you want to contain your CSS changes in a separate set of files, then uh, child theme wizard is the way to go. A future version that I want to include something like an export theme option so that you can bundle up all the data that you've created and download a handy zip file and then you can share that with the world. If you have any questions leave a comment on this video or leave a comment on the release post. You're also more than welcome to post in the WordPress forum uh, but I'm not notified when you do so I may not get back to you for I don't know maybe weeks so if you leave a comment I do get an email and then we can discuss what you need or what's not working for you. If you found this video useful, then please share it with your friends and loved ones and your family. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps. Take care until next time.